Hi, hello, my name's Brian Johnson with ExploringUruguay.com. I'm here with my buddy Brent. We're down here in Uruguay in South America. Now, we're going to be tasting the beers of Uruguay today. We're going to go over them, and we're using Billy Brew's Beer Tasting Guide here. Printed it off, and we're going to be using this to go over and rate and taste these beers. So, we're going to do all this for you out there. Good on you, Billy. So, the first beer we're drinking here today is the Pilsen Sonic. It's nice yeah. yellow. It's got a kind of a funny smell to it. I would call the aroma, what would you call the aroma, Brent? Beer. Beer. A beer aroma, yeah. The first one always has a beer aroma, so I'm quite happy. Oh, it's fucking fast. Pilsen Sonic, very light. Uh, All right, so we got it here. Yeah. Similar to horse piss, in my opinion. What are you going to do? Pilsen. All right, so we made it through the first Pilsen, and now what we're going on to is Nortenia. And that's a Vesa de Uruguay. It's uh, sort of like a lager. In the tradition of New Zealand, get it down yet and see what it tastes like. Hey, crack it. It sounds good. Good start. A beer, sir? I, I shall. Thank you very much. So it pours, it, it pours quite nicely. Yeah, yeah. A bit of a dwarf, like a, a little head. Um, but a little head doesn't hurt. Golden. A golden. Let's, 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 let's taste it. <laughs> There's not much taste to it. No. It's just kind of like flavored water. It, it's got a, a bit of a beer taste, Australia. but it's not It's not a strong beer. Not strong at all. If, if it's 120 degrees outside, you know, drink it. Absolutely. Ice cold, it, it would go down. Fantastic. So. Yeah, it's not, it's not me. It's not to my palate, but um, it, but on a hot day, I'll drink it. Exactly. You're up with me. And one thing about beer in Uruguay, typically comes in one liter bottles. Yeah. Which one liter turns into three of these glasses, just so you know. And you're going to pay 30 pesos, it's about a buck fifty. And we have, um, we have um, four different meats on the barbecue. We've got an asado de tira, which is beef ribs. An asado de cerdo, which is uh, pork, and an asado de cordero, which is lamb. And here is porcho. The small bits are porcho, and they are done in, with a herb here. It's a mixture called chimichurri, which is uh, very spicy, very hot, but it makes the beer taste really good. And of course, the compulsory uh, Uruguayan chorizo, the sausage, and they do very good sausages. Absolutely. So we just got done uh, chowing down on this this wonderful smorgasbord of food we had here. Now we're we're turned into a zero talk. About as much heat as Herman. <laughs> so that's not bad. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, so zero tall here. Mm. Nice golden color. Tastes like. It's, it's quite it's slightly bitter. So, basically, we're looking at it. If you get, have the option of Pilsen or Zertal, go for the Z. Go for the Z. You get go. more head with Z. More head with Z. Got it from us. First. Pilsen Amber. This one's much better than the regular Pilsen. It doesn't taste like horse piss like that one does. So, we're going to go ahead and get this poured out here. This is Billy. It's his beer tasting guide, okay? So, um, what do you reckon, Billy? Yeah, this is little Billy here. This is Billy? little Billy here. You have a taste? What do you reckon? Any good? Yeah? Okay? You like okay, it, Billy? yeah. Yeah? Billy says good. Don't, don't throw up on Okay, good on you, mate. Alright, so yeah, that's the, that's the Pilsen Amber. As we can see, we've got the head. It's nice golden color here. Oh wow, I just snorted that at my nose actually. Well, I just went this mullet. That's no joke. That's Never... not the last thing that's been passed that septum, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's that. <laughs> Very true, so bottoms up. On you, mate. Ah, cheers. Mm. 
not too bad. Not too bad. Much better than the horse piss we've been drinking. So Actually, the last few have felt actually, or tasted a bit like um, this has been actually sieved through the kidneys first and then it's come out. So this is better. Exactly. Kia ora, fellas. Haere, haere, haere mai. Ki puti te Uruguay. And that basically means, hello, welcome to Uruguay. The sun always finds a hole to shine through over Uruguay. Now, for all you fellas out there who are married, and you think, ah, oh, you got a wedding ring? What a waste of time. Brother, have I got a job for you? You always have a bottle opener. Check this out. I see the flowers one day. On you, mate. And that's how we do it with the Patricia Porter. Porter. Right there, bud. Right, up, Brian, have a crack at this one, mate. This is a, uh, what they call a Negro. A Negro Porter. It's a black beer. It's got a bit of guts to it. And, uh, yeah, actually, it's one of my favorite drops. Cheers, mate. Cheers. On you. Oh, that's that's actually that's, a beer. That's a beer sandwich. That's fantastic. That's yeah. a sandwich. It, it's that's got, actually a manwich. It's got a nice chocolatey flavor to yeah. it. Uh, Whack a couple of slices of bread around that, brother, and you got a feed. Absolutely, it's mm -hmm. smells outstanding. Wally. Nutty. Yes, chocolatey, you, creamy. If you're gonna drink a beer when you come, come here, Patricia Porter. That's where it's at. You know, if I was gonna. Write this, I'd say it's. I haven't had much experience, you know, experience with beer, really, probably about 30 years, but um, it's just about a stout. It's um, strong, but we're men. We like strong beer. So it's a good beer, actually, guys. It, it, it really, it really is. Yeah, it's actually got right more here. grunt. It's actually got more grunt than a bloody pen full of hogs. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. So, exactly. Hey Bobby, come here, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you going to taste this one? So we got Sue helping us out with this one here. Yeah, we thought we'd actually call on a real man. Stanley. Stan the man. This is the Pilsen Stout right here. If in doubt, down the stout. Down the snout? Yeah, at least. At least once. Can you do it? It's a light. It's a light stout. It's a light. It's, um, it is because the bubbles are very thin. Mm. Thin here. Can't see through it because it's dark. This is my preference over the two. Patricia Porter. Yeah, this Pilsen stout is uh, weak. It's more. It's more bitter. It's a. It's a bitter stout. It's a. It's a. It's a bit. It's. A, it's, it's too it's, bubbly. For yeah, a stout. I think the. I think the Patricia is a. Is a bitter bitter stout. Yeah. Um, this is just like a black bubbly beer. Mm. All right. So it's a lot later on in the evening now, and we had a a whole cooler here, full of beer, that. Well, well, it's it's not so full anymore, and we have this cooler over here that was full, and it's not full very much anymore. And we just tried a beer, and let me tell you about this beer. It's called Mastra. If you ever have the chance to try Mastra, walk away. Don't walk away. Can I? Can I? I'd like to comment, actually, please, because um, if you drink this, you'd have to be a Mastra beta, okay? And uh, you need to take yourself in hand and really pull yourself together because um, that, 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 that's a shit beer, guys. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to try another Mastra. A Mastra Roca, a Mastra Red. It, it is, it's a cloudy beer. It's murky. Yeah, it tastes good too. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so it smells right. bad, Bertie. Actually, uh, that may be, that may be brewed from an Arabian Arabian Kimmel. gymnast's armpit. <laughs> is that or it's pure testicle sweat? I'm unsure. Yeah, but that is um, just, um, that's, that's horrible. And that just went all over my foot, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, if we, if we look back and review the night. Mom, Patricia. you get to go outside and meet the old fella too. <laughs> the best beer in Uruguay you're going to find right here is the Patricia Porter. We had to drink all of this beer here tonight to let you know that.